राइट ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गुजरात श्री भूपेंद्र भाई पटेल जी डिस्टिंग पार्टिसिपेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वार्म ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम नेपाल नमस्कार नमस्ते एट द आउटसेट लेट मी एक्सप्रेस माय सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू ऑनरेबल भूपेंद्र भाई पटेल जी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गुजरात फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी इन दिस ऑगस्ट gathering i am deeply honored and privileged to be a part of this vibrant gujarat global summit 2024 this global forum for business networking knowledge sharing and strategic partnerships for fostering sustainable and inclusive growth has now been a forum for all modi ji has had envisioned vibrant gujarat concept in 2003 under your visionary leadership this idea of entrepreneurial spirit of gujarat has now been translated into vibrant india india is now a major global economic power i also like to commend Modi ji for your transformative leadership during G20 presidency which has brought this mechanism to a next level that is you have made this more inclusive and broader vibrant gujarat development model which you are translating nationwide has been a source of inspiration for many countries including nepal is now managing financial resources and technological know-how for addressing economic social and environmental challenges of our time Nepal and India actually Bharat since thousands of years have common places of great Hindu and Buddhist religious worship and we are visiting each other's places since ancient times I am happy to inform you that visitors from Gujarat are one of the largest in Nepal I still have fresh memory of Modi ji's statement delivered in our parliament in 2014 particularly your emphasis on hit that is highway information ways and transmission ways I am happy to say that we are working together in all these areas to improve connectivity stand and market linkages and to reduce transaction cost <clears throat> recently nepal and india have signed a long term power purchase agreement of exporting 10000 megawatt of electricity to india over 10 years of time this will immensely open up investment opportunity in hydropower in nepal it will also contribute to achieve green energy transition target not only for nepal but also in india situated between two global economic powers nepal has adopted liberal market oriented economic policy since the early 90s and is a member of several international organizations organization and multilateral agencies and we are implementing trade and investment policies and regulation of international standards nepal provides investor friendly regulatory and legal framework with macroeconomic stability 
and rule-based democratic political system. Our legal system prohibits nationalization of private enterprises and properties. We guarantee national and non-discriminatory treatment to foreign investment. Those who have invested in Nepal are enjoying good returns on their investment. The abundant natural and educated human resources, together with potential domestic and export market, ensures attractive return for prospective investors. There are huge untapped investment opportunities in Nepal, in energy, tourism, agribusiness, and ICT. There are also other potential areas of investment, such as health, education, manufacturing, construction, transportation, mining, banking, and financial services. Nepal is organizing investment summit in April 28 and 29 this year in Kathmandu. I would like to use this occasion to cordially, cordially invite all captains of industries and entrepreneurs from India and other participating countries for your valuable involvement in this summit. I hope your innovative business ideas and investment decision will be a milestone for unlocking growth potential of Nepal. Once again, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the state government of Gujarat for providing me this opportunity to witness remarkable confluence of minds and energies in vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. I wish for the grand success of this summit. Thank you very much.